Playmaker. Playmaker. Tell me about Playmaker. Uh, it's a local magazine we started a few years ago. Film, TV, music, sports, and everything. So, yeah. Um, starting out, um, you and Brent, uh, I think a few years ago, really got into the back research of this thing. You know, the freedom is in the news. Can you talk a little bit about that process? Yeah, we just did that, not as research for this film, but as just research for our lives. As figuring out different ways to live life. And we had a lot of fun, so, and we learned a heck of fun. So, uh, we were excited what, what, what to What kind of lessons did you learn to do from that that worked into the film? To not be afraid of things that seem different, to actually try them rather than form a judgment before you try it. Right. Especially like eating out of a dumpster, it seems so gross at first, but when you do it, it's really awesome. Right, um, um, we wrote some other things about the film, that originally you were going to do it as kind of a, a take on financial support, and you switched it to pharmaceutical because you said you wanted to have a little resume. Can you kind of talk about that choice as far as... Yeah, we were thinking about all sorts of uh, corporations and all sorts of, not just corporate malfeasance, but any time when people are... Uh, guilty of something and not being held responsible. And we found that some of the stories we were reading about things that pharmaceutical companies had done and how much money pharmaceutical companies make, it, it became obvious that that's a very emotional story. Right, and then uh, one last question. Um, kind of the uh, the American, um, you know, being a film corporation, it's kind of time with you, in the 70s, but this is still a very current film. Did you find when you were doing that you had to kind of balance the time with that stuff? You know, it's nice when you bring something that's kind of right spent now, a lot of time in yeah, the um, characters, so when you then go to act. Brad, but you yeah. said that it's an American theme, and it is. It's back from the American Revolution, so the 70s was just like, what, the 200th anniversary of America, so, um, so uh, I think that... Uh, yeah, by looking at our history, we can also look forward. So I think that's what makes it both timeless and timely. Great, thank you so much. Thank you.